In this week's Parsha of Vayera, we read of the story of the destruction of Stom and Amoram, which is preceded by HaKadosh Baruch Hu telling Avraham Avinu of his plans to do so. He tells Avraham, Erdan Averen, I'm going to go down and see if the tzakot, if the cries, render it deserving of destruction. The 15th century work, the Medrash Abiyur, explains that Erdana, those words, are the basis for what Chazal taught, Al Tadinet Chaverchad Shetagelim Komo, don't judge your friend until you reach his place. Because just as HaKadosh Baruch Hu went down into stone, so too must we go down into our friend's circumstances before judging them. Rabbi Yehuda Leib Ginsburg, in his Yalkut Yehuda, goes a step further, basing himself on a comment of Rabbi Yosef Shol Natanson's Divrei Shaul, that when HaKadosh Baruch Hu went down into stone, in a sense, it was judging them by the appropriate and reasonable standards by which to judge those people, because when HaKadosh Baruch Hu judges the world, he has to descend from his frame of absolute truth and enter into our fundamentally flawed Mortal perspectives. HaKadosh Baruch Hu can't judge the world based on his perfection, but rather he takes into account our weaknesses and our limitations. As the Yalkut Yehuda writes, just as HaKadosh Baruch Hu did that and does that, every judge must go down to his from his high level of consciousness and judge the people according to who they are. And that's what it means when we say, Al tadinet komo, that a judge must lower himself and go to the place and moral condition of the defendants. Some people, unfortunately, are all too ready to judge others by standards that are unfair, standards that we've set for ourselves, but may not be fair to others. And therefore, when we judge other people, we have to remember who they are. We have to base our judgments on a frame of reference, the reference of where those people are at. This is something that we see over and over again in these days of the war in Israel, a new understanding and a new appreciation of Klal Yisrael, of every person. We unfortunately have suffered terrible tragedy, but out of this tragedy is coming a new sense of achtut, a new st standard of understanding the other. Just yesterday, we visited the military base which distributes tzitzit to all of the chayalim in Sahal. Tens of thousands of pairs of tzitzit have been distributed and hundreds of thousands more on their way, not just to people who normally wear tzitzit, but to chayalim now who have a newfound appreciation for religion in their lives, a newfound appreciation for spirituality and for a sense of purpose because of the achdut we have. If we were just to dismiss people and say, no, don't do this or don't do that because you're not doing it all, we, we were to judge them by our own standards for ourselves, we would lose extraordinary opportunity to bring people together. Leman ha'am. Fortunately, we've learned the lesson in a very difficult way, but please, God, will remember this lesson, the lesson HaKadosh Baruch Hu tried to teach Avraham Avinu, and the lesson we need to remember of how to judge our fellow man and woman in the most positive of way, where they are, just as HaKadosh Baruch Hu came down to judge even the cities of stone.